New at six, a renewed effort to catch the East Coast rapists. Billboards like this one will soon grace the side of Rhode Island highways. The FBI and local investigators are teaming up to catch the man accused of attacking 17 women. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Socknick joins us now with more details. Well, investigators are hoping the billboards will help crack the case before he strikes again. And DNA evidence has already proven that the East Coast rapist has been right here in Rhode Island. Billboards featuring these sketches of the East Coast rapist will now be along Rhode Island highways, hoping anyone with information will come forward. The FBI and local police departments announced a digital billboard campaign today in hopes of catching the man who's assaulted women in states from Virginia to Connecticut and as far back as 1997. In Rhode Island, DNA has tied the East Coast rapist to a peeping Tom incident back in 2006. It happened outside a home on Valley View Drive in Cranston. The most recent strike two years ago, the rape of two teenage girls on Halloween night in Virginia. Investigators now hope the black and white sketches will put an end to the raping spree. The East Coast rapist is described as a black male who may have a chipped or missing tooth. He's about five foot seven to six feet tall, and in some cases, he was reported to be wearing a leather or a latex gloves and a mask. And I can tell you that the billboards will be going up very, very soon. Anyone with any information on who he is is urged to contact local police. We also have more details on our website, WPRI.com, under the No More section. I'm Catherine Sodnik, Eyewitness News.